Judging by uh, Jessica's reaction towards the end, she thought maybe she had the win. How confident were you going in when they were reading the scores? I felt pretty confident, especially uh, round one and two. I felt like I did most of the, I was the aggressor. I was attacking, she was throwing, but I was slipping and then countering off of I felt like I threw way more punches. Do you think she, as well as some other opponents, underestimate your striking? Oh yeah. I think uh, a lot of people underestimate me, probably because my size, they feel like, oh, she's the tinier fighter, I just gotta keep her at the end of the punches. Well, that's why I do a lot of strength and conditioning. So I can bob and weave, get that cardio up to get in. And, and you kind of elaborated there, but if maybe if you can elaborate a little bit on the game plan for her, you said it was to kind of move and try to work your way inside? Yeah, pretty much um, that's what the strategy was the whole time. Uh, my coach, Julio Trana, um, he told me, okay, she's tall, Everybody's taller than you, so what we gotta do is angles. Angles, bob and weave, pump that jab out there, and just mix it up. But the key was hit those angles. That, that's you hit on, those. I'm sorry, that, that's good on paper, but what was the learning <clears throat> curve like out there? Did you feel that you were able to find those angles and cut those angles immediately? Well, right off the bat, I was a little like, uh, you know, it's not until you get hit a couple times, and it's like, okay, yeah, it's time to do what I gotta do. News flash, what, like, wake what was up. your power like? Did you feel that it was... I no, I, I never felt like I was in any danger, but you know, she was throwing it. You always got to be, you know, cautious because that one punch could hit you right in the button. But I, I was never worried. What about those knees? She was hitting you with some good ones in uh, some of the crunch times. Well, she got me with one, but it was nothing like crazy. And maybe it looked like from the camera angle that she was getting it, but not really. <laughs> former Invicta champ that you took out there. Was that one of the biggest wins in your career and, and possibly one that maybe helped show your arrival, I guess? Yes, I feel like taking her out, I should have a number next to my name. She was uh, ranked number 14 and I'm, I'm ready to climb the rankings. I wanna be ranked, I wanna, I wanna see that number next to it. I wanna get on there and be like, yes. <laughs> well, do you have uh, anyone in mind who you'd like to fight next? Whoever they throw at me, me and my coach, my team, we're all going to get together. We're going to keep growing from here. All it is is all we're going to do is go up. So whoever they throw, hey, we'll be ready for them. Would you be interested in fighting someone like Michelle Waters? Whatever they give me, you know. Can't say no. Just do what you got to do. Get ranked. How are you feeling? You're relatively unscathed. Could you get back in there? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I can. I didn't really like probably a couple bruises, but that's the fight game. You gotta just stay ready. She's pretty big for the weight class. I know a lot of people make it, you know, talk about your size and stuff. I guess, do you feel like it's a, a disadvantage, like some people make it out to be, or does it actually work to your advantage? Or? Well, of course it has its good and uh, its bads, but I feel like with this size, my hips are naturally lower. So for her to throw me, I know she wanted to do a little bit of those throws, you're gonna have to drop really low. So I feel like it could work as an advantage. And, I'm happy, I like my height. I made it this far, and I plan on eventually one day being the champ, so. And do you feel comfortable at 115, or would you like to see the UFC bring in more weight classes, like 105? Well, I've only, my whole life, fought at 115, so this is my home. I feel strong at this weight. A lot is made about the, the height, but what about the strength? Do you think you're one of the stronger fighters in the division? Yes, I, I feel strong. I feel like um, once, they, once they actually try to hold me, try to manhandle me, they'll be like, Ooh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs>